So you asked me to do a speech about uh, something for drums, and I am doing that. I learned drums when I was 16 years old. My parents surprised me with the drum set for my sweet 16th birthday, which was almost 10 years ago. So I've been playing 10 years. The reason I wanted to play is I was, I'm ADHD and I always wanted something to play that gave me something to do and to do with all my energy. So my parents are like, you always hit noises and tap on desks and stuff. So maybe you should get a drum set. So they got me a drum set and I was required to take lessons. That was the, that was the deal. That was the deal. In order for me to get drums, I had to take lessons. So I did do that for two or three years. I used to be able to read sheet music for drums. I don't know if I can anymore. I'm going to relearn shortly here. But I just want to give you a quick run through of what everything is on this drum set. So this is your hi-hat. It's two cymbals. This is your crash cymbal. It's really loud. This is uh, your snare. Uh, this is an ex a special attachment you can get. This is a tambourine. Not necessary. This is your small tom, your middle tom, and your floor tom. And you have them tuned high, medium, and low. This is your kick drum down here. This is your ride cymbal. And these are a special thing. These are cymbals. Definitely not, doesn't come with the original drum set. Uh, when I got this set, it came with crappy PV cymbals. And I replaced them a couple years later after I was told that they sucked. So I have Zildjian cymbals. So I guess you could say I'm sponsored by Zildjian. Except I bought those. So not really sponsored at all. Uh, Average drummers will go through their heads quite frequently over some time, but I mean, I go through every two years or maybe three, I go through a snare drum head. It just kind of depends on how loud you drum. I often just play at church, so I am not able to play as loud as I could, but it's probably a good thing because I would probably be deaf if I played as loud as a lot of drummers play. Uh, it's also good to wear ear protection when you play drums. I know I'm not showing a good example of that right now, but... I'll just kind of give you a basic walkthrough. Uh, this is a quarter notes. This is where you count in one and twos. So one and two and three and three and. That's a basic beat. The other most common beat in like a traditional song you hear on the radio is quarter notes. That's a basic eighth note beat. Uh, I will to teach you how to do a drum fill. Somebody had asked me to show them this on the video. So a basic drum fill, once you're done playing a beat, you do like... There's no, there's no wrong way to do a fill, it's just kind of whatever you're feeling and whatever you have time for within your musical measure of the song. So I'm just going to play a quarter notes and then fill in a couple fills. Of different ways you can do fills. Uh, there's no wrong way. It just kind of remember what you have time for and whatever the speed is. I mean, you can play a lot faster, but you can also just play toms just to do with the song. Like, there's a song from POD called Youth of a Nation. sample of some drum knowledge. I can probably do a better one sometime in the future, but that's all I got for right now. So thank you for listening to this speech.